Good morning, traders. This is John Paul, DayTradeToWin.com. Hope everyone is having a safe 2013. I want to thank all of the traders who subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the comments, all the posts. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them there in the YouTube comments. Or uh, you can always email me at support at DayTradeToWin.com. I just did a few webinars and they have been uploaded to the uh, the YouTube channel as well. So today I want to shift gears a little bit. I want to talk about some common sense trading, some forward thinking. I have the Atlas Line software on my chart and in just a few seconds we're going to see a short order here to go short the E-mini S&P. But I want to focus whether or not this is the best trade to take under the current conditions. So in just a few seconds we're going to see a short here and this is an exact entry to go short the market. All right, and there it is. The short entry on the E-mini S&P at about 9.50, 9.55 is 4.61.75 on the March 2013 contract. So 14.61.75, that's the entry, period. It's black and white and then we manage the trade from here whether it be a prove it stop or time based stop or catastrophic stop or the profit target of almost two points this is the entry 1461.75 now I wanna think about this a little bit and I wanna ask you do you think that this trade is a good trade to take now even though the Atlas line does give you this entry what I teach is a little bit beyond just following an indicator. I teach on analyzing price and understanding what's happening in order to make the best decisions. So if you reference how far this trade is moved in a very short period of time, we're going to see that this may be oversold or it may be overexhausted. Now those of you in the mentorship program, you learn about this and you understand uh, what to do in, under this situation. But for those of you who are new to trading and aren't part of the Day Trade to Win team, you can see that if you have an indicator, moving averages, MACD, momentum, it's all red. It's all telling you, go short, now's the perfect opportunity, maybe a trend is in motion, right? Time to go short. Now I say hold on a second because if you reference the entry of 1461.75 and compare it to where the Atlas line is currently being plotted, you can see that it's pretty far away. Now this is something that I use to filter out trades. I consider it an overexhausted move or an oversold move where price moves so quickly into uh, a direction in a very short period of time and unless there are more sellers to continue this move down there's nobody there to follow up and therefore when I filter out trades I have a very specific way of knowing whether or not this is a good trade to take or it's not a good trade to take so let's take a look at where the Atlas line is currently plotting. The Atlas line is currently plotting around 1466.75. You can see it up here on the top part of your chart and also on IndiaTrader here it highlights it here in red and the entry is 1461.75. Now the other thing that you may notice is that I have a uh, an indicator, a tool called the ATR, the average true range on the chart. And this ATR is currently at about a point and three quarters, two points. Now, if I was going to go short, I know that my profit target is going to be about a point and three quarters, two points. But in order to filter a trade, making sure that it's not oversold or overexhausted, what I'm going to do is I am going to double that value, that value is uh, about two points, point three quarters. So if you double that, that's going to be roughly four points or three and a half points. 
And so I know that if I enter short more than double what the ATR current value is, the ATR value being a point three quarters, I don't want to enter short more than three and a half, three and three quarters of a point because this will automatically tell me that the market may be overexhausted. It makes a huge move and then there's no follow through. So now what you have is a difference of more than double the ATR. You have about five to five and a half points from the Atlas line to where that entry of 1461.75, which tells you to go short, it's a little bit of a problem. So what do we do? We do nothing. We filter out the trade, and this is the same situation whether you're looking at any of your methods where you're using price action or any of the methods that I teach. This is a perfect way to filter out any trade to know whether or not it has been over exhausted either long or short this to the short side so I'm gonna post this these results this trade happens to be a break-even trade or maybe even a small winner uh, so I'm gonna post the results on the day trade to win results page for this trade as it is as it came out but for those of you who know how to properly manage and filter these trades, you know that that would not have been a trade worth taking because it's oversold. Very simply, look at the ATR, double that number, have a reference point, the Alice line is the reference point, and now we know this trade would have been filtered out. I'm going to show you what's going on today, yesterday. Um, this is, I thought, very important for you new traders or even some intermediate or, or experienced traders that don't look into filtering oversold conditions or overbought conditions. This is a great way to reference price and using the Atlas line to do that.